Oh, this is heavy. Yeah, it's been like it's been like six months. It's been met. No, it's been more than that. Well, I saw you recently. We went to uh, your girl's uh, birthday party. That was well. I mean, I, yeah, I guess that wasn't recent, but I think I was drunk. Yeah, yeah, you might have been. Yeah, that you don't remember that night. I was there too. We came to the you Mexican place over yeah. there, and uh, you weren't there. Shut I got up. fajitas. Yeah, no, you, you did it. Fucking <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> Uh, oh, I, you know what? I kind of remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we split after dinner. Place. Like okay. we hung out for a little while. And yeah, it was y'all, hammered. Y'all left. That's all. So, how's she doing, man? Good? She's good. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. She's chilling. Sweet. So. Well, dude, James, thanks for coming to hang with us. Thank you, man. On the three peat, man. Yeah. It's first good. time you're you're flying solo. I know I'm solo. I'm kind of nervous actually. Uh, no, 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 no. Can no, the no. camera see my bald spot? No um, way. No, no shot. Yeah, what bald spot? You guys want to see what bald spot? What? Shut up. You just shaved your head, Shut dude. Up. It's not bald. No, it's coming in. It's no, coming man, in. you're good. You're good. I've been told by everybody it's coming in. Why did you? Uh, did the you last time. Mm, all right, we're good. Yeah, she's brutally honest. She'd tell you. There, there. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, we're chilling. When did you shave your head? Uh, Hold up. So, Halloween, I went as Walter White when he was... Uh, Making drugs? Yeah. It's a good costume. Meth, if you're too stupid to know. <laughs> I'm talking to whoever listens to this. Um, anyway, hold on. I'll show you a photo real quick. Walter White. Yeah, it was fucking kick-ass. This is a photo of me way too drunk in the woods. <laughs> that is Walter. Oh, dude, and you're that... in the hazmat suit? Yeah, yeah. The whole dude, shit. Oh, so dude, good. you got the goatee and everything. <laughs> yeah. Man. So I have a mustache right now because I had to shave the goatee because I couldn't fucking. Rip. Dude, that is good. Yeah. That is that is a great costume. <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't rep it though. I was like, the dude, goatee send was me like... that photo. I want to put that right. up on the show yeah. for anybody watching. Um, um, hopefully, I'll have a picture. It was a one it. one and done like goatee. Like I don't <laughs> fucking like goatee. Never do it again. My one of my good friends rocks one. I hate it, <laughs> but he's a shit. All right, Alex. Yeah, text me that man. That's cool. That's that's a that's a good looking, especially with the goatee. That makes it. That's me drunk. That's that's full on commitment. Where'd that's, you get the freaking hazmat suit? I have that for just working on my house. You just have that. Yeah. <laughs> and so I bought the, I bought like the hazmat suit. Yeah. And then just spray painted it yellow. And it was uh, funny thing is my car, um, it came off really easily. So my seats are now yellow in my car. Oh shit! Yeah. So, so you just took like a white. Painter suit. It and, doesn't and look like, like it. Though. It looks yellow. legit. No, nah, like an idiot, just fucking spray painting it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I haven't talked to you in a while, and I didn't know how your uh, how your October went. It looks like you went to some cool Halloween parties. So since I last talked to you guys, I've been in three car wrecks. Okay. First what? one. First one totaled my car that I drove me and Ben here for that podcast. What happened? And Alec actually. Uh, this dude pulled out in front of me. So he was supposed to yield on a left and he just pulled it right out in front of me when i was going straight you know where um what's that fucking pizza place right there the filling station yeah yeah yeah. he pulled out like just dead in front of me and uh towed my car so me and peter went to what the fuck is that place called it's a magic city motors it's like bessemer pull apart or something (laughs) yeah it's like one of those places where you buy like shitty cars Okay, and all of them, all used yeah, cars places. Yeah, you get a shitty car. Yeah. Yeah, so we went and bought a shitty car. Shittycars.com. Yeah. yeah, it didn't work for like five months. Oh, so. shit. Well, it worked till I got home. And then, <laughs> they always do that. Yeah. They'll get you home, and then they won't get you out of the driveway. Yeah, so bought that car, sucked ass. So then I was like skating to work, which you know how far Irondale is from. Oh, my. You're, you're skating over the hill? Yeah. Shit. Yeah, like a fucking idiot. Oh and, my uh, god. Or bummy rides for my girlfriend, which bless her. Sorry about that one. But um, So how long ago was this first wreck? You said you've been in two wrecks after this? This was mm, April. Because okay. we we were on the podcast with Yeah, because we ended in March. Alec, yeah. Right before you guys ended. Yeah. <clears throat> and so yeah, got in the wreck and then didn't have a car. I fixed it finally. Now it works like two months ago. Um, fixed it right before I started working at my new job. So I looked for jobs just in the neighborhood, and I was like, if I had to walk somewhere, perfect. So um, 
now I just work in the neighborhood and uh yeah, if I have to drive, I will drive, but not a fan. I right. Hate, I hate driving. Also, during that time I got hit by a car skating to work. Oh god. So I've like I said, been in three wrecks. The first one was me in my car. Two weeks after that, I was borrowing a Lexus car to go to work and a UPS truck pulled out in front of me. Oh my god. And that was in her car and then uh that was fine. Like got the insurance money from that. But then also skating to work, got hit by a car right by uh gym tub. So your past couple months have just been just perfect. Just uh, the, 20, best, 20, the best year of yeah, your life. Oh. My attitude might not be as fun as the first time because 2021 has been a son of a bitch. Dude, Dude that oh, sucks, man. man. Damn. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, it's been wild. So I don't know. All the times I've skated down the road in my small hometown, I've never been hit by a car. <laughs> you know? Or yeah, like, like my down elbow. My elbow is where I always fall to, apparently. But it's like all Oof. meshed up right now. So Damn. Well, dude, feel, well, hopefully hey, it'll turn around. You hey, know, we got a few more months or what? Feel bad. You have a one month more and month a half. of 2021. Feel bad for me. Yeah, we feel bad. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Dude, we Shut got, up. We got Thanksgiving <laughs> around the corner, man. I We're, really don't give a fuck. It's just like, fuck, like stupid shit. Stupid shit. But, but feel bad for me. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. What's Spinosi up to? He's like he crushing it. Like shit, like last week that I was working. I haven't yeah. gotten back to him. So I follow him on Instagram. If it's like he just he's... won some, uh, I don't know if you saw like Thrasher contest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He won that. I saw he was doing stuff with Thunder Trucks too. Yeah, yeah, the dude. Video part. Yeah, no, I saw that video part. That was rad. Yeah, um, I think oh. we shared it on the Heavy Ultra Instagram page. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Cool. I was like out. trying to show him some love. You know, it was awesome. Yeah. Shout out Spinosi. The Young Bucks. Yeah. Um, nah, he's doing good. Uh, he tried to call me, like I said, and probably. Same with you guys. I haven't been back to anybody in a while just because I've been so busy working. Just ghosted. Trying to get out. You're yeah, too cool. Uh, you should ghost all of us. Yeah. I'm getting further and further away from society. I, I delete, hear you, man. I deleted all Instagram. Dude, I was trying to like like pull up some talking points. Like, I haven't talked to James in a while. Nah. I was like trying to scope you there. out. I didn't you're block You're gone him. completely. Yeah. No, dude. You're just gone. Well, Not all yet. that dumb shit, like... Um, if you want to get into it, like Go for it. you like made the new Instagram because somebody's reporting your old page and then they're reporting your new page. And I'm like, dude, fuck off. Like, fuck those people. Well, stop posting naked pictures of your girlfriend, dude. Go for right. it. No, but I did. I'm, that's a joke. I did see the photo in question that was like, you were like venting on. It was so Instagram. stupid. You're like, who's reporting me? This is so stupid. Well, it's, yeah. I mean, I get it though. I guess. I don't. When I'm away from it, I'm like, all right, all right. I guess I could it, but I think it's funny. Like people will follow you and like report you for shit. I think people it's... love to hate. Yeah, so I don't. I don't fucking know. I don't know why anybody gives a fuck to fucking report me, but it is what it is. And now so. you're gone. You're gone. Oh yeah, it's fucking nice being gone. I feel like a recluse. Like I feel like I just met you guys again because I just haven't fucking been around. I know we're trying to keep up with you. You're just gone. Oh, yeah. What's James up to? Who knows. Dude. Well, that's probably freeing in a way. Just kind of be like it, disconnected yeah, for a little is. while, you know? Yeah. It's kind of nice. It is. It's nice. So I literally don't leave Irondale unless I have to. Like Will Norris. Do you know Will Norris? I don't know him personally. I know people you know that is, know so. him. I know who he is. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Like he's the one homie. Like if he hits me up, he's like, hey, come to come to this, come to that. I'm like, all right, I'll come. As Didn't long he as work with you at Trim Tab? I yeah, think he, he told still me works that. There. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's the man. And, uh, I'll do anything. Should have invited him, man. We could have had him on too. I, I was gonna say that if you want to. Yeah. Yeah. At some we'll point, do that. At we some point. Get Will on because Will's fucking. He's the mayor. Of, people call him the mayor of Birmingham. I don't know the him mayor. personally, but mm-hmm. uh, it'd let's be cool get the to, real mayor. Let's he's, get him he's, on. Yeah, yeah. He's the real mayor. That'd be, be cool rad. to be cool to talk to him. Yeah. Um, man, yeah. If I, I don't get know him in person. here and get him a little bit saucy. It'd be fucking Sweet. funny as fuck. Let's do it, man. Yeah, he's a man though. Um, but yeah, I just kind of kick it to my own in Irondale. And uh, haven't been where do you long. live? Are you um, you don't have to tell me exactly where you live, but what's like, your address? What's your social security <laughs> number? <sighs> like, what what area of town when you say Irondale? Uh, like, how long did it take you to get here? Because we're basically five minutes, five minutes, yeah. yeah. So, we're not far. Yeah. You need to hang out more, dude. You need to call me. I told you, besides doing this, bullshit, we should just I try to keep up. I texted here. you a month or it was a few weeks ago. See, I said, Hey, I man, like, I just want to know how you're doing. That's when I was going through some. bullshit. So, oh, well, yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. No, 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 that's fine. I mean, everybody, I just had the sixth sense. I was like, James yeah. needs me right now. Don't so. you go through? bullshit? I mean, we all do, yeah, yeah dude. Totally. Exactly. I just was like, you know, 
weird spot. I was like, I'm not fucking calling anybody back. I ain't got time for that. No. no I hear you, dude. Um, Thanksgiving's around the corner. What do you, what do you normally do on Thanksgiving? Any, any big not, plans? Hanging with your family, friends? Fuck no. Anything? Uh, <laughs> what? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> fuck no. No. Uh, well, you can come hang out with us. I'm off work that anything. day. I might go see my mom as much as, as I said fuck no, but I might go see my mom, but I might not. I might just fucking not do a damn thing. Okay. So. Well, I hear you. Well, hopefully it'll be a It's a just nice... Thanksgiving. I mean, what are we celebrating? I, I'm with you Dude, on Dude, I'm that. just eating I'm and like being off just work. Like, and like... Hey, Indians, like, you know, Native Americans, thank you for your land. I mean, I it's kind of morphed into more of an American, like, holiday where we just... We we don't really know why we're celebrating. We're just it's, off yeah, work. It seems we're like oblivious to the, the horrible atrocities. Like, so, think about this. So, you get Thanksgiving. That's a holiday. You have to pay money for it to have, because you have to buy all the food, beers, drinks. Then there's Christmas. Pay all the money for the food, beers, and the drinks. Valentine's. Food, beers, and drinks. What's the next one after that? It's... Do Easter, too. Go ahead. Oh, and then you have to pay your Easter. taxes. Sorry. Easter, food, beer, and oh, drinks. Oh, Easter. Yeah. Easter. And then you have to pay your taxes. It's right after. And then what's after that? Labor Day, right? Do you pay anything for Labor Day? No, but you go have a good time, so you're basically spending money. It's a they conspiracy. Conspiracy. Dude, I'll go into Well, that. all the holidays are... <laughs> I, I mean, will. I'll go into Flat Earth. I'll go into all that shit. Well, dude, holidays are just set up by like all the big uh, okay, companies exactly. that just want to make money. And like, right. like you've seen the explosion of like... I mean, these holidays that uh, are like crazy... Like yeah. eventually we'll be celebrating like Canadian Boxing Day. That'll like be a big thing. <laughs> but it's still fun. I mean, it's still it's fun. fun. It's, fun. Yeah. it's expensive to have fun. That's it what is, people don't understand. Which I'm fine with spending money to have fun, but I just wanted to be real. Like, just lie to us and say like, or be not, not lie, but be truthful. Yeah, you're spending money just to fucking support the economy or some shit. Oh, yeah, I'm down with that. I get it. That means I get to eat some fried turkey. You can do that any day, Alex. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but it's not socially acceptable to like eat turkey. And sure, it is. I'm gonna buy a Christmas tree in July. <laughs> you do a lot of people do that? Do they? Yeah, that's like a thing, like Christmas in July. Yeah. No okay, way. well that was a joke, but okay. That's not a thing. I mean, yeah. it's kind of. I don't celebrate Christmas that. in July. You, heard you that haven't on some, seen that? That's on TV. You've like heard that on some like place. crappy country song. No, man. Like people <laughs> celebrate Christmas in July. I swear. Do they? Just like it's five o'clock somewhere. Does everywhere. he listen to crappy country? Sure. He does. No, he does. You listen yeah. to crappy country all the time. Own it. I love it. Like you suck. Like people what? tell me that Travis Tritt is like terrible. I'm like Travis I, Tritt is I couldn't like tell the you, last of the best. I couldn't tell you any of their names, but I know a lot of songs. Oh man, you guys are fucking up. I'm not that hard. Oh, it, yeah. If it's on the radio, I'm gonna listen to it. Oh. Uh, I remember. Yeah, I remember yeah. breaking the news to Alex that like, hey, I listen to country music because we used to work together. And when my time to shine was, we were working at a baseball field. And we were up in a cherry picker, like 30 feet off the ground. And the groundsman, or whoever was on the ground, had a radio, and they were playing country music. And Alex was like, turn this shit off. And then I just started you singing, singing along. to every song yeah. that came on the radio. That's pretty funny. Um, I know, uh, fuck, what's that motherfucker's name? He looks like Randy Johnson, the baseball player. Couldn't tell you. I don't, I don't know any of them. I know their songs, but I don't know their face. Fuck, my lady listens to him all the time. I listen to a lot of Jimmy Buffett, man. I like Jimmy Buffett. Yeah, He's like a Jimmy. country music, but Shut it's like up. beach country, you know? Yeah, oh, go. Alan Jackson. Oh, Alan Jackson's let's the go. shit. Yeah, he's the man. Chattahoochee, come on. Chattahoochee. Yeah, yeah man. Right. Like, I'll I fuck love with Alan that shit all day. Yeah, dude, yeah, that's good. Fuck. Yeah. We used to drink in that crappy, rundown Pizza Hut. That is gone, by the way. Thank God we drove by it. But when we used to do karaoke... No, it's not the same one. That's not the same one. You're talking about the Pizza Hut that was still a Pizza Hut. The other Pizza Hut that is, uh, what's you the know name what of? I'm talking about. Where are you guys Bourbon about? Street. Bourbon, Bourbon Street. Street. Oh, dude, Cario guy at Bourbon. Street. Yeah, the bar. Oh, the bar. Turned, it's a Pizza Hut that was turned into a bar. Is that what that is? Yeah. Is oh. it still there? Yeah. The yeah, Bourbon Street. No was. way, Bourbon Street's still there. Yes, it yeah. is. Dude, yes, Bourbon Street's still there. No they, shot. Yeah. No, they made it through the pandemic. They're kick ass. Oh my god, dude, okay. that's the sleaziest place on earth. It's a Pizza Hut. It's a Pizza Hut. With and a karaoke bar. Dude. Oh, yeah, but so, like funny karaoke story. Me and my lady went there and she was like, I'm gonna do karaoke. I was like, Okay. You know you know the crowd that goes there. Mm-hmm. Like, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Hard throw down though. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, you know, like boo, like whatever. Yeah. She does I forget what the fuck she did, but Shania she did Twain, probably. something like yeah. along those lines. Like a lot I will, of Shania I will go Twain on. coming out. <laughs> 
did, did, I will go on. <laughs> did a song, and then this dude was like booing, like, Ooh. and I'm, I'm just. I've never there. been booed there, man. We've always had like a very solid reception, even when you're terrible. Okay, I, I like just having fun. Well, let's preface this: they serve you drinks in a pickle jar. So after you down a pickle jar, like, who's booing? I don't know. Okay, hold on. Let's get so here. right. I don't know, but the night that we happened to be karaoke, there was this dude who was just booing her. <laughs> she finished the song, gets off the stage. She's like, "What'd you fucking pay for, bitch?" <laughs> like right in his face. So I was like, "Fuck, here let's we go. go, let's go." Yeah, I was like, I was like <laughs> "Go right. ahead, and start taking my ring." <laughs> yeah, off. I was like, "God damn!" I was like, "This dude's about to fucking go off," and he just took it. Like mm. she just got right in his fucking face. I was like, "All right, fuck, I'm not gonna do anything. I just keep drinking my beer." She seems like the type of person. I met your girlfriend, she Alexis. Own. She's awesome. She seems like she can hold her own for fuck sure. Yeah, yeah. She's yeah fucking like, scary, dude. Yeah, yeah, I would, I would be like. Like, no, I'm sorry, I, I, sorry. I don't fuck with her. Yeah, she's scary as shit, dude. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna interview you, motherfuckers. All right, go. go for it. What you got? All right, what's changed since the last time I fucking saw you? you what sorry. has changed since the last time you saw me? Um, last time I saw, or last time I talked to you, you tried to call me on a work schedule to come to come to work. Yeah, you called him thinking he was somebody else yeah. for work. You're like, "Hey, are you gonna be here today?" No, 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 no. That's long ago. But then was, James was, was like, "Yeah, like I'll I could be there if I need to." It's like, what? Are you what still are you working? Our job? friendship has evolved since then. No, um, I'm working in the same place. Yeah, and you, the phone call you're talking about that happened before the first pod or after the first podcast where you came before on. Alec. Before Alec, okay. yeah, that was that was yeah, that was a while back. What about you working the same spot still. So. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. We've I I own my own business, so we just got the doors open. Son so that's what I bitch. do every day. Are you looking to hire? Uh, eventually, yeah, just, yeah. Actually, they're growing, man. Do, it's crazy. Don't don't play because I'll be giving you a phone call. Like, hey, James. Uh, Maybe. What you up to these days? Is it outside of Irondale? It's uh. Um, it's Avondale. It's Avondale. It's right next to Brown Derby. It's just over the hill. It's kind of far. Away. I'll come pick you up. I can think about it. Okay. I'm just kidding. fine. Anyway. But yeah, no, that's it. No, our lives haven't changed very much. I mean, we've been doing the podcast. Uh, we try to hang out when we can. He stays super busy with the studio. All right, never mind. Well, dude, uh, we do talk a lot of skateboarding with you. I didn't want to just like hammer you with skateboarding questions having care. you on this one. But the one thing, having you on for the third podcast here, thanks for coming again. No worries. One thing we never talked about, you posted before you deleted all your social media, <laughs> you posted a shot. Ooh. I did not know that you had a Thrasher cover, man. That is amazing. Oh, um, I don't know if we could pull a picture not, up. Sure. Uh, no, you, Katie's still gone. She's yeah, still well, she's walking back. She never came back. Do me a favor and she, Google. She went right there and just paused. And came okay. Back. Do me a favor and Google <laughs> James Hardy Thrasher cover. Fuck you. Guys. You had a cover on Thrasher, dude. That's amazing for anybody's skateboarding career. That's, look, that's look how impressed insane. he looks. <laughs> okay, you don't think it's that cool, but I was like, that's pretty wild. Yeah, so the first picture right there, uh, to the right, that one right there. Click on that. That's you, dog. I did not know that you had a Thrasher cover. Um, so I geeked out on it. I thought it was pretty sick. I don't know what you're doing, what trick this is right here. What do you think it is? It looks like a nose blunt. Yeah. Okay, okay you're doing a nose blunt. You passed. Okay. Yeah. And that's a big, that, dude, what is that, like a 22 stair or something? Oh, no, I wish. It's a 55 for everybody uh, listening It's a 70. Home. Yeah. I think it's like a... So, so bring me back to this day, if you don't mind. Talk me through what is it like getting a call to say, "Hey, we, we're considering you for the cover," okay. or do you just throw down and it just ends up on the cover? What, actually, how does that it's work? funny you say that. That's actually how it went down. Which, not tooting my horn, but it's a funny story. Yeah. Uh, so you know Michael Burnett. I don't know him, but I know of him. He's, yes. Well, yeah, he's the photographer for Thrasher. Has been for years. Me and him were good friends. I'd say we still are. We just don't keep in touch as much as we used to. Um, but I had been shooting with him a lot during this time. And I tried to nose blunt a 16 stereo that's at this other famous school in San Diego. This is all back during that time. So that rail, no one could give a fuck about now because it's terrible. But he called me. He was like, hey, we don't have a cover for next month. Do you think you could nose blunt this rail? And it was that rail. And so I just met him. I think he called me like a couple days before. He was like, We're going out on Saturday. That's when the school's closed. I was like, All right, cool. And so I just spent a week just doing nose blunts. And then um, 
How do you practice? For, you just pla- practice on a flat bar? Or you go to like a local like? No, well, this is like other podcasts I've talked on. There was a skate warehouse where they had like a 12 or 11 or 12 stair rail. It was kind of big, but not that big, but big enough to like get your confidence on. So I just nose blunted it for like four days in a row. And then he called me and was like, hey, do you want to just meet there at like 11 a.m.? I was like, sure. So met at 11 a.m. and uh, grinded it a couple times. And then I broke three boards that day, even on the rollaway. But, uh, yeah, he just set the whole thing up. And uh, he was like, we need, a, we need a thrasher cover. I already know the angle. He's like, it's going to no look No pressure, like, yeah. I think he even said, he was like, it's going to look like the Jamie Thomas cover. And I, I like, swear to God, that's what it looked like. Yeah. You're doing the black and white and everything. That's exactly what it reminded me of. If you notice the, the on Jamie the photo, um, where's the shadow? There is no shadow. Yeah, so it looks fake. But, I mean, no. why is that? I don't know. They never told because me. Because look where the sun's coming. Your shadow's like Your shadow's the on the fence on the yeah. side. No, no, it's no, just no. like a no, long no, no. shadow. No, no, no. Look at the rail. The railing shadow. Yeah, it's like coming towards I us. The, I should be in the middle of it. Okay, well, lay it out for us. Is it I fake don't know or why. not? It's real, though. You really no, did that. There's footage of it, you son of a bitch. What, what part was that in? If somebody wanted to go back and watch it. Wait, is somebody calling you out that there's no shadow no, on the cover? No, I just always made fun of it because it's the only Okay, cover I have. I'm like, who? No one's calling me out. Okay, no, no, okay, no, no, good. No. You keep it that way. No, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just think it's funny because when I notice it, I'm like, where's my fucking shadow? And it's not there. You, but le- you left it in the dust. You were going so it's fast. And since they. Yeah, since they won. The real, okay. Yeah, the real video. Okay, sick. Well, that's awesome, man. I don't know how I missed that. I, I uh, thought I followed your career pretty closely. and then. Um, well, you had like reposted it yeah, not you, too far long ago. Not too long ago, you had posted it. And yeah, I, was I think like, I talked Holy some shit. shit, dude. That's awesome, man. Yeah, I think um, I said some shit where it was like, that's why I had to get off Instagram because I talked too much shit <laughs> and had too many followers. And uh, I think I said something. I was like, oh, it's that popular popular shirt you wear that you don't have a clue what the fuck it represents. Mm-hmm. I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. Which is funny because there's, I'll go to the fucking Dollar General and see people wearing Thrasher mm-hmm. shit. I'm like, this motherfucker has no idea. What I'm going to buy one with this But picture. I get it. Good for Thrasher. I'm going to get one with this picture on it just to spy. Oh, we're absolutely going to do it. And then he I'm going to get a print shop and I'm like, we're going to print this shirt <laughs> yeah. and sell it. Just to spite. I'm not going to sell it. No, no, no. no. We're no, going to sell it. No, we're, we're all about the cash grab. No, we're not. Thrasher, <laughs> Thrasher, we're joking. <laughs> we are kidding. But I did think it was really cool. Um, and it was cool. Yeah. I don't know what issue this was. They got a million issues, but it looks Jesus. like Leo Ellington was in this issue. 2010? So. No. No. I pride myself on my skateboard lore and like uh, nerd history. I've got quite a, I've got like twenty of these at the house. I'll just give you one, dude. Give That's me somewhere. one. It yeah. will, uh, it will go on the wall. Everybody so. can get one because I don't want them. I give away all my stuff. I have none of my boards at all. Really? No. Nah, you didn't keep like, any for mom or any of that stuff. My mom kept some, but she went and bought them for like myself. Hmm. Or I may have given her. I some. think Peter's got some. I think the last time, well, mm-hmm. the only time we had him here, he mentioned uh, Peter, a yeah, board or something. When I was working, like he said, when I was working the shop for him for a second during the pandemic, I just brought all my old boards, and, like gave them away. So, how are they doing? Did they move again? Or are they in the same spot? Yeah, they moved. They recently. moved again. Yeah, I think they moved again. Where are they at now? They're in the same building, but apparently, like they moved down or something. I don't know. You tell me. You are they still in cahoots with the? I've been so with busy, the, I haven't been. Are they still no. with the bike shop doing the? No, they're not doing that anymore. It's a uh, the printing shop. The print shop. I think that's what I'm thinking of. But yeah. I think they changed it. Or I could be wrong. I haven't had time to go. I literally haven't been to Birmingham in a minute. Mm. I've just been staying in Irondale, like I said. Just over the yeah, middle. but you act like Birmingham and Irondale aren't like this. I mean, like no, I know, but right over the it's hill. different when you come over the when hill. When you're skating, no, yeah, no, no, I don't, yeah. I don't do this. My ankle's been fucked up. I haven't skated in like three months. Damn. Yeah, I had a, like a seizure. We talked about that, like where I have them. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. They hopefully those have been few and far they, between these days. Well, they graduated to where I have them during the day, so I had one at Trim Tab right before I got fired from there. Like just on the canning line, just like passed out and woke up on the couch in the <clears throat> uh, tasting room. And then I was working in Irondale 
and I was walking home and had one on the sidewalk, felt like just passed out in the middle of the sidewalk, and then shit, shit and, like dude. woke up at my house, and I was like, "What the hell am I doing here?" Like, had no idea where I was. How'd you get home? My lady randomly found me. Whoa. What? Yeah. She's just like driving. Well, we, there's uh, my boyfriend was, on the side of the. Well, because I was walking in the neighborhood, and she was she works in the neighborhood at the library. Oh, and, okay. Uh, she was yeah. like driving home, and she was like, "The fuck." Like James, yeah. <laughs> so, dude, that's intense, man. Yeah, oh so gosh. that's why I kind of been like keeping it a little bit more chill, I guess. I, I don't know you. that like drinking or like anything has anything Amplifies to do with that. It or, right. Right. But I'm just cutting back, I'm trying to be a little bit more healthy these yeah. days. So, no respect, dude. We discovered this thing. Um, I bought it off Amazon just on a whim. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm trying to be healthier. It's called Super Greens. It's just like a super super food. greens, dude. Their sponsorships are. Everywhere. No, you're talking about athletic greens. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. They're everywhere. <laughs> They're everywhere. So I bought the knockoff version. Cause super greens. Super greens. But like it had like outstanding reviews, and it's like this little powder, and you just mix it in like eight ounces of water and drink it, and it gives you like all what the- What is it? Like crushed vit- up? All the like, vitamins? Yeah, all the vitamins, yeah, all the nutrients, yeah. all that stuff. It's they say fine. that. What is it, though? I mean, I don't know what it is. I couldn't You're ingesting it. You should know. But- I'm on day three, and so I mean, I, I'm feeling pretty good. And I'm like, see, my, no, lady, my lady went I'll vegan, and like, so I'm vegan at home. I'll fuck around when I'm not at home, but I feel better when I eat what she's eating raw beef all the time. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh but God. I have my fuck up days where I'm like, I'm going to fucking McDonald's. Cause sure, dude, we all do, man. I day. mean, that's not beef anyway. But so she's you're like, she's pretty by the books, and like. She feels healthy, and every time I eat at home, I feel healthy. So, so what are some staple vegan meals? Vegan that you stuff's make? rad, dude. She makes like breakfast. Her breakfast is fucking kick ass. It's like tofu, like scrambled eggs. So it tastes like scrambled eggs, but it's just tofu, and then like um, kimchi potatoes. Oh, okay, wow. like peppers and shit yeah. on it. It's fucking amazing. Have y'all done that like mushroom, like pulled pork stuff? It's like nah, you you make nah, like this. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Here in reviews on it, it's like you. It's undis- indis- See, mushrooms are indistinguishable. Like steak. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you get those big fat ones. You like slice off right. Yeah, yeah, hamburger out of portobello it ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're fucking amazing. So, but I'm always intimidated. You know, people throw out like vegan recipes. I'm like, where are you finding these recipes? And we had um, whole foods. Same. same. Well, we had the guy. Um, I always like question my lady. I'm like, where the fuck do you get from? I want to know. You grit it from the dirt in your yeah. backyard. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, it's good, though. I mean, feel healthier, feel lighter, so. Yeah. Well, I would, I would probably graduate to do that more if I knew confidently what to buy or how Same. to, like, you know what I mean? Like, 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 you just I'm, don't I'm, know. That's like, why I'm, like, part-time. Like, yeah. she knows all about it, but I'm just, like, I don't look into it, so it. I don't know, so I don't fully trust it. Well, the most vegan yeah. thing I've been eating lately, uh, shout out to Burrito Punks. We had them on, and they do, like, vegan burritos oh, yeah, and stuff yeah, yeah. yeah really good by the way or it's not all vegan he said the only thing that makes them not vegan is the fact that they have dairy cheese right but there's no meat yeah. or does that, that count stuff. i don't know if, but like their recipes are off the I chain it's, yeah. it's 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 good so i don't want to interrupt yeah no you're good. no no i think what makes it is like well they those cows have to like be in this pen anyway okay Sure. I'm not, but milk, on. but milk from them is different from the meat from them. Yeah, you know definitely. what I mean. Like you have dairy, you have dairy farms versus like butcher Look, houses. We're gonna get in trouble if we're talking about this. I'm not shitting on it at all. I'm not either. I'm not either. I'm just genuinely curious. That yeah, that was me. I'm just genuinely curious. I don't. Whatever. I don't know. Either. We're we're fine line there. Anyways, going back to the vegan thing, uh, their burritos are really good, and they're all vegan. And I'm like, I'm not missing. We need vegan meat. fast food. And we'll be straight. Yeah, that's probably that's the hardest becoming part. more common. Yeah, it's I like mean, you want convenient hate, vegan. Hate food. to say it, Burger King, the fucking. Uh, someone help me out. Oh, the Impossible Burger. Yes. Did you try that or the? My yeah, it's lady Impossible tried. Burger. She said it's fucking kick ass. It's really? good. Yeah. Okay. That's what she says. I don't know yet. I haven't I, tried yet. I haven't tried either. I don't, but I don't know. I remember when um, Hotbox was behind Parkside. They had the veggie burger. That shit was better than the burger. It was Ooh. so good. But it still had like cheese on it. So I Was Hotbox, they were in the container thing? The yeah. little container? Yeah. yeah the shipping they're container? good people now. And um, yeah. They're not in a yeah. shipping container. They were in an Airstream. Airstream, yeah. And now they're good people. Mm-hmm. Did you go to the last... I don't know if you went to the last thing at Parkside. Like they had like a big shindig before they closed down. 
I yeah, went what? and I fucking hated it. Oh, really? No. Yeah, oh, that's sorry to any of my friends that are watching, but I was like, they had bands play what? and all that stuff. Well, yeah, you mentioned went, Will Norris earlier. Wasn't he? Yeah, he in the that's band what I was gonna place? say. I went to see Will Norris. I did not know I was gonna see so many people that I happen to know. I'm not shitting on the people I know. Sometimes you just don't want to see people you know. Yeah. And it was that night. I was like, fuck. I was like, I'm so tired. I don't want to be here. And see this many people and have so many small conversations. But so it was just intense, like so many people yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, I'm not shitting on my friends. No, I think that's totally fair. Yeah. I mean, there's only they would fuck say the same all these thing. people. No, no, yeah, no, but they would say the same thing. Like, oh, fuck, so yeah. many people here. Yeah, but okay. It was so kick ass. Will ki- Will's band kicks ass actually. What is his band? His band is Joy Boy. Joy Boy. Okay. Yeah. Is he? What does he play in the He's band? He's fucking vocalist. He's the vocalist. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Yeah. Well, had lunch with him yesterday. He's awesome. Yeah. We'll got to get him on, man. He looks like um he dyed his hair uh yellow. Okay. <laughs> he looks like fucking uh what's the fucking guy? Um Who's what the, show? Who's the redhead guy that's crazy and Carrot Top? No. Yes. Yeah, oh, yes. okay, okay. Yeah. Yes, he does. He always, looks like Carrot Top. He looks like Carrot Top. <laughs> he's a yeah. I always give him shit for it. I'm like, dude, you look like fucking Carrot Yeah, where's Carrot Top these days? He's still alive and kicking, right? Uh, he's probably in Vegas doing a show right I now. I think Carrot Top. Pe- no, no, no. Don't he's even. Not dead. Don't no, even. Not dead. That was Skeeter. Sorry. Skeeter. No, yeah, Skeeter died. Yeah, Skeeter that's passed. crazy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Skeeter. That was that's kind of old news though. I think Say by Bell's on like season two. I was just thinking about like this year. Whoa. Skeeter from Skeet, Saved by the... Screech. 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 Yeah, yeah not Skeeter. What? Yeah, yeah Skeeter. what? Skeeter. <laughs> what the fuck is Skeeter? Screech is... Skeet. Sorry, Skeeter's Doug. Yeah, Skeeter is from Doug. Doug. Yeah. <laughs> Screech. Like, I was totally with you. I was like, Skeeter. Yeah, Skeeter. But, um... Hold on, yeah. we're laughing and making jokes, but Screech is no Screech longer? is dead, yes. Yeah, Screech is dead. He died earlier this year. Was it earlier this year? Yeah. I know that it's Saved by the Bell had like a reunion... Or like a, a like a re, you know everybody's revamping yeah. shows. No, it was twenty twenty one when he died. Okay, that. it was like March or like, yeah, March or February. Well, yeah, shocker if you don't already know. Yeah. Screech well, is dead. Spoilers now you know. Yeah. Not Skeeter from Doug, the animated <laughs> character. Yeah. He will live cartoon. forever. He will live forever. Yeah. Sorry. Anyway, Carrot Top. That's what Will looks like right now. He looks amazing. What's going on over at Parkside? I see all the construction there, like cleaning out that whole lot. No, no that's so. You Ferris, guys live down the street. You guys should know. I drive by it every day, but I don't know. What I know is that Ferris bought Fancies on Fifth. Yes, that building. Who? Who's Ferris? Ferris, and they just covered up the Fancies on Fifth. No, sh- okay. They just covered up the Fancies on Fifth sign with just like their logo. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you, you don't know about the this? Fancies on Fifth like logo behind it. Yeah. So Fancies on Fifth had this like really decorative, like ornate, like. Old school with the vintage with the glass like Edison bulbs, bulb, Edison bond. bulb yeah. sign. Yeah, and it looked awesome. Yeah, it was incredible. Well, Ferris, who is a brewery that's already set up shop in oh, Trustville, Dad's. Artesian okay, okay. Yeah. Brew, I think bar I or something. Yeah, yeah, they have taken over Fancy's because Fancy closed down during the pandemic, or like towards the end of the pandemic. They were like, "Hey, we're not gonna check, fact check me," but they were like, "We're not gonna survive. We're closing down," and Ferris took over. So I thought, and I posed this to many people we've had on this podcast, did Ferris also buy the Parkside building? Yeah. And everybody has said no. Oh. So they have the old fancies building that had like a uh, hot diggity dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the, Upstairs. the, is the marble speakeasy? ring. Is that gone? No, the marble ring is still there, I think. <sighs> Okay. I think people were. How that? many times you go there? I've never been, but it's <laughs> you're like cool. breathing a sigh of relief. It's like, cool that we have a speakeasy that I've never been to. <laughs> what, what the fuck is it called? I've never been. The marble, the ring. marble ring. You haven't heard of the marble ring? Yeah, no. dude. Where are you at? The fuck, if I know. I don't know. So, all right, let's take a little trip down. Memory <laughs> I told you I've been to Irondale. I gotta act like I'm cultured, Alex. All right, so marble ring upstairs, which I think is still there, or like. Recently, Katie's laughing her ass off as we try to like recall. No, this she's stuff. like, "You guys need to shut y'all the need fuck to up. shut the fuck up." Um, Marble Ring is still there. It's upstairs, and what used to be the last time I was there at Hot Diggity was there's a phone booth, and it looks like an old school phone booth. And you actually go in that, and that's the door to get into the speakeasy, which is like a secret cocktail lounge called the Marble Ring. And that was a thing for like years, man. Fucking a. So. Hot diggity closed, and then there was another place there for a short amount of time, and they didn't survive, and Marble Ring, I guess, closed down for a while, and then Fancy's closed down, and they came back for a little while, and then they closed down, 
that Ferris bought the building. For anybody listening, I'm sorry if I'm butchering these facts. I'm just telling you what I know. <laughs> Ferris bought the building, and they're opening back up. They're open. We actually, they are open now. We yes. went and got a hamburger, and uh, they're renovating the parking lot. They're doing something. Yes. But the building behind them that's formerly Parkside is not... Parkside anymore. They don't own it, but it's not Parkside anymore either, so I don't know what that building's going to be. All you right. see, I saw all the construction, and I thought that was the lot that was like <clears throat> fenced off with Parkside. What well, butts right up to the fence where Parkside no. in the back had. Okay. Okay, let's go back to the speakeasy. How do you make money as a speakeasy? Don't you have to be like involved in drugs? You like? I mean, I don't know. Speakeasies, if, if, if in my like, understanding, are back during the Prohibition era. That's what I'm saying. Like they had like selling. secret bars and. So how like, the hell do you have a speakeasy? Because it's it's just all word of mouth. It's just it's all nostalgia. You know, it's, just, no way, it's just uh, a gimmick. Yeah, but you still have to pay taxes at the end of the year. I mean, yeah. They're not a real speakeasy. It's a legitimate bar. Okay. Like, okay. it's just like a gimmick. <laughs> like, we just let the cat no, out of no, the no, bag? No. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm not Sorry, talking I about like a on that. secret Exposed? underground okay, right. bar. Yeah. No, it's, it's like, like everyone realizes it. It's just a funny thing. And like, I even think they had like, they had like a photo shoot when they first opened. They had like people in like, with Tommy guns and like the flappers and like all the people from the okay, Roaring Twenties. Okay, so they're 20s. dorks. Yeah. yeah dorks. Okay. I don't know about. <laughs> I'm not. Dorks. I'm not calling anybody a dork. <laughs> I am. But James is. I had never. I've never. Shots gone, fired. I've never gone to Marble Ring, but apparently they're still open or have reopened. I don't know. Oh, and then okay. Ferris owns the bottom half, and they're doing stuff in the parking lot next to it. Okay. Anybody out there that has more information that wants to come and share? Ferris, Yo, come on. You know what was fun was um, Halloween at Firehouse. Was it? Oh, let's talk about I it. I saw videos of some of the shows that were going down. It looked like they were raging. Did you see some uh, guy that looked like Walter White? Uh, I can't say. I, I, I but that was you. That was you. But no, I did not yeah. see. Who, the guy. What shows? Who was playing? Uh, was it like Will was playing Joy Boy, and then um, <laughs> fuck, there was a bunch of. It was like six different bands. Yeah, um, playing in the downstairs area venue yeah. part of fire that's so i'm just so glad firehouse. that firehouse like, is still fucking... like thriving and yeah, still like, like a thing because like my teenage years which well i won't get into it my teenage years was like the firehouse was like a staple this was like oh my god no i mean like we'd like we're getting what's his name will what's his name david kevin eric eric that's what i said eric we're having eric firehouse come on talk about it and i just I'm just a fanboy because like the firehouse was like so freaking cool before Honestly, like that was my first time to ever go. Oh, yeah. Uh, well. yeah. I've only been there once. I went and saw some random band. Uh, me and Katie went, and uh, I don't know. That was, just, that cool. was never like my dive, you know. But like, yeah, because like you cool, suck. But I was cool in the cool well, crowd, and I went yeah, there all the time. I don't have it good taste rad. music, so, so, so I didn't funny. know this. But it was they a joke. Okay. they have this rule on Halloween, like, oh. Uh, if you show up dressed up, you get it for free. Or pay 20 bucks. Or pay 20 it. bucks, And yeah. I was like, fuck that. Like, at the last minute, like, the day before, I was like, I gotta be something. And, like, so I already had a beard. And I was like, all right, fuck it. I'm just gonna fucking go as Walter White. I think Whoever my friend Nick Willis out. went to that. And um, yeah, Nick, he, he always yeah. posts, like, photos Nick's, of all the parties and stuff. Nick's kind of my neighbor. Really? Mm -hmm. He lives with uh, <clears throat> your other friend that came to Alexis's birthday party that you don't remember. I met him. He's really into plants. Really cool dude. I'll think of his name. Uh, He's awesome. He was yeah. like, uh, like we were just making small talk, and he was like, "Yeah, my my roommate Nick." And I was like, "Nick Willis," and uh, I've known Nick since like third grade. It's crazy. <laughs> See, well, dude, yeah. we got Christmas coming up, man. I'm uh, I'm I haven't put my tree up yet. I'm a big believer in not putting up Christmas decorations until oh, after off. Thanksgiving. Put mine up, like, dude, yeah, we, did. We, we bought ours on Amazon already. Who? You and Tim? LCY. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, yeah. I, put, I put mine up like three weeks ago. November 1st. Three weeks ago, two November months November 1st, Christmas. Christmas trees go up. Screw Thanksgiving. Yeah, I don't like Thanksgiving. Yeah. Dude, I'm okay, well, I'm with yeah. Thanksgiving. Nah. I, I think it's cool. I mean, the food's good, but... I like... I, like, I don't know, man. I don't... I, don't I can get that anywhere. <sighs> Y'all are... Yes, at any time, yeah. ever. You could just go to it's like a not as fun. meet and three. Who does that? Nobody does turkey and dressing at a meet and three. Yeah, they in do. In like July. Yeah, I they do. do. But nobody eats it because nobody goes. All right. Well, I, I don't know. I, I have like my, Thanksgiving. I have my three. opinions on. I'm meet not and mad threes. at Thanksgiving. Whatever. <laughs> it sounds like y'all are like pissed at Thanksgiving. No, Fuck I just like I don't understand the hype. 
I it's feel just, like we're over it. November and December is Christmas. It's just another month to spend money. That's all it is. Yeah. October is Halloween. September is, what is it, Veterans Day or something? Labor Memorial Day. That's what it is. We yeah. just had Veterans Day. Okay, August is nothing. I'll give props to August. July, July 4th. Well, I mean, summer is... We're getting off subject. Anyways, what are we Sorry, talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Christmas. Uh, any big plans for Christmas? Christmas parties, Christmas get-togethers, Christmas... It sounds like you don't really Fuck hang out. No. Yeah, I don't hang out with anybody. He's going to be at home in Iron... We're going to his place for Christmas this year. I, I was about to, to say, eight, dude. I just had to spend fucking $7,000 on a fucking uh, heater, so no, I'm not doing On a it. heater? Yeah, my fucking HVAC went out, oh. so I had to replace the whole unit. Dude. Fill that you could spend like fifty bucks on like seven space heaters. <laughs> burn your house down. <laughs> I did that. Yeah, about burn my house down. Ooh, but dude, yeah. your electric bill goes through the roof. Exactly. You fire up one space heater, you see your lights dim. Yeah, but versus <laughs> the seven thousand dollars you pay up front, I mean, you can get by for a while for one winter. One winter, yeah. <laughs> okay. Space no. heaters drain energy. It's crazy. Yeah, man. it's fucking crazy, dude. So anyway, well, luckily you, it doesn't get too hot. Get one here. of those uh, wood burn. I, so I've been wanting to re con, reconvert. What was the word? Reconvert my van and put a word, put a wood burning stove in it. Do you think that? <laughs> no. In a, yes. In a van. Yeah, I think it'd be so freaking. Everybody's shaking their head. No, I think it'd be cool. I'd be so rad. I don't know, man. I mean, <laughs> maybe, but because I when know. I was a kid, we lived in a house with a huge chimney, a huge fireplace. And just like the smell of like the burning wood. Oh yeah. And no, when we go back home like, and visit mom and dad, I'm not like, trying to put that in my car though. <laughs> like, come on. It's a van. It's a it's a van. I think it'd be. Re- I've seen school buses do it. Why not? I mean, I'm not mad at you. Thank just, you. That's all I need. I'm like you can do whatever you want. I think it'd be yeah. sick. I think it'd be awesome if it works. Yes. Okay. I bet it. Oh, it'll. It. I can light a fire. Putting it out is the other thing. You die right, of carbon so monoxide you guys poisoning. Tell me, no, you guys- I have an alarm. <laughs> <laughs> I've thought it through, Alex. All right, you guys are closer to Birmingham than I am. What's been going on here? Anything new? I don't know because I'm at the Dude, office. Did you see the shooting? Did you have any? Oh, uh, did you come traffic? No, he came over here? the other side of the hill. He came today. over the other side today. Yeah, man. Yeah, like right in front of Cahaba, there was like a massive. I don't know if it's massive, but they blocked off like before you get to Mom's, like that light right before Mom's. Yeah, um, and then everything passed. St- <laughs> Up until you get to uh, Dollar General, like on that stretch, they had it roped mm-hmm. off completely. On my way here, I was like, dude, to, I almost uh, called you. I was like, I'm gonna be late for the podcast because I'm like stuck in like a crazy traffic jam. And apparently, I mom's, thought it was is just mom's a, close. Mom's is right there, but I mean, this happened in the road. The whole section is that whole road is blocked off. Yes. It was. It's probably open now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that yeah. was like three hours ago. But like, uh, I thought it was just a car wreck. Right. And turns out it was like a shooting. Like. There was a shooting in the road, like three people taken to the hospital. And yeah. It's it was crazy how it fast wasn't information. At mom's, it wasn't at mom's. No, it was on the, the road in front of mom's. I was to get off this and call David real quick. No, 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 no. I don't think there was anything at mom's, but they were probably there when it happened because it happened right there in front of the parking lot, like in front of the shopping center. Damn. And like literally while we were waiting for you to get here, I pulled up the uh, AL.com article. that was like, oh, three people shot on, what is that, Fifth Avenue? Which is crazy that we there. didn't hear it because we're only just a couple of blocks over. And then there was like helicopters and stuff flying yeah. over. It's crazy, what man. What the fuck? Yeah. I so I was like, James, maybe be late. I don't know. If you drove through <sighs> that. No. No, I just worked until about six six thirty. So sweet. Yep. Other than that, I don't know uh, what's going on in Birmingham. I I stay at the office all day. He works all the time. Day. Yeah. So not much else happening. I mean, I don't know. There's new places opening up all over the place i think everybody's just waiting on the on the that whole what's it called uh walk birmingham yeah. city, city walks walk. coming everybody's along. waiting on that to get done yeah man i uh i think peter on the faith instagram posted a shot of like a, a concrete mix, mixing machine or something and i, know I think that, it's like, the, the, the skate yeah. park guys were here yeah i know they're all in town or they were i don't know if they're so I don't know if they just come in and consult because Al Dot's the one that's building the park, but then like Al Dot? I thought so. They're paying for it, but I don't know who the contractors are, if it's Brassville yeah. Glory or like Fuck no. 
who the major no, people. but the but skate Brassfield. company would be building the skate park, yeah. right? Well, yeah. I don't know. You tell me. But surely, Brassfield is not building it, dude. If Brassfield builds it, <laughs> we are all screwed. But it's all plans. I mean, like you can't mess up the plans that are already set. In but place. it's people. It's you Brassfield. can't get people who build hospitals to build a skate park. Fuck no. Yeah, you got. Bunch yeah, of son of a bitches too. Yeah. Well, I didn't know if the dudes that designed the park would actually be the ones here laying the concrete and pouring the mold well, and doing yeah. all that stuff. No, they have like a crew. Okay. Yeah, so that's, I think that's how that works. But that's happening. <clears throat> you think it's happening this week? Maybe. <laughs> You're supposed to be I in the big know, man. Right there. I can't skate right now. Big my ankle's truck. fucked. Yeah. Like I can't skate. I can't do anything. Well, my knees are fucked and my back's fucked. I feel like a fucking old man. Just fucked all over. He's a, yeah. He there truly is. He's not on social media anymore. He's just cheese. You are an old man. I literally stay in Iron Dome. You got a like, rocking I chair? Just, I decided. You got a sweet rocking chair? No, I'm fucking building one. Not bitch. yet. Not yet. <laughs> build one. There yeah. you go. I will. All right. I'm going to pitch you on my new show idea, James. We uh like we have free time to do new things. I was talking to Zach about this earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and just lay it out there for the internet, and they can steal my idea and probably do it ahead of me. Yeah. Or they won't. They'll be cool and they'll just ride with it and let us Try do it first. It. So. I think it would be rad. There's a show online. What do I have? I was gonna. Okay. Well, I was, I was gonna playing say. with Lola. Do I have it? Yeah, you're good. Is it going? Yep. Okay. Clean hair on my face. Thanks, man. And no shave November. Not this guy. No, I know. Me neither. No. There's a show Sorry, on YouTube ahead. that's called How to Drink. You ever heard of it? Mm-mm. Ever seen it? Really cool dude. He like shows you how to make drinks and stuff. And he's real funny and he throws in little ad libs and stories and stuff. But he teaches you how to make like. A Manhattan cocktails? or cocktails or whatever. But um, we can do it better. But so my idea was like, okay, we've got a little bar over here that we've never utilized that I built I know, for I like guests to like hang out. Yeah, I told you guys to use that shit. I mean, I'm trying. <laughs> we talked about it. We talked about, like, hey, we're going to like turn it. You guys it, just get me over here and put me on a microphone. Turn I'm it, down the drink there. Yes. Turn okay. it to like a, because uh, those are popular. Those like basement bar thing. Mm-hmm. What are they called? Bar. Uh, garage bars. Garage bars. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there's like, so you give away free. I mean, this place is like too kick ass just to hang out and talk to me on a microphone. I know. Yeah, I know. Be, we should be chilling over there. Right? You should have. You should have heard Alex's idea of like installing a urinal in here. <laughs> Oof, <laughs> that was a joke. Oh, but that okay. Yeah. I mean, that was a you joke. don't want that money. That was a funny joke. Yeah. But funny. anyways, I thought it would be cool to have like a local show thing where we utilize the bar we set up some cameras and some lighting over there and we have like local bartenders come in and like basically they could vent about their day at work or whatever or bitch. teach us how to like talk like beer make bitch. like different j- drinks you know like talk- beer bitch mm-hmm. beer bitch yeah, why amazing. would it be called beer bitch because you get the bitch you can get to make beer beer bitch serve beer, beer, serve bitch. beer and bitch okay yeah. all right we're know. tossing out ideas we don't know what it's okay. going to be called yet I it's a work in progress but I was like, that might be cool. It might be easy to do because, like, thinking about like a show that we could actually produce and do, you know, have somebody just come in and like make drinks and like edit it in a cool way. That's funny. but my my spin on it oh, was shit. that Alex does not know how to make drinks. So you get a bar, I don't either. you get a bartender in here who's like, okay, I'm going to make this drink and it's this ingredients, right. and then based off that information alone, Alex tries to make that drink. And then, then the bartender critiques it and is like, okay, now this is how you really make the drink. Yeah, so like if I came up to you and was like, hey, make me a Manhattan, but I didn't give you any other information, and I don't know how you've worked in bars or worked around bars. I've, I've been the door guy. Yeah, yeah, so like I would not know the first thing and try to make it, no, I wouldn't and either. then like have him actually make the real drink and then can <laughs> critique mine. So maybe that'd be a cool gimmick. I don't know. Yeah, I think it'd be uh, fun. be fun, but... uh I mean, Not like I have the time to pursue such an endeavor. but I It think will happen. I think it's rad, and it should happen, and we should just try it. Beer, bitch. Coming soon. You can call it rad drinks. I mean, don't we yeah. all know enough like bartenders in Birmingham? That's what I'm oh, saying, yeah, yeah. man. Like, There's so many cool people, and like, try to give them a cool outlet to like do but, something like, creative yeah. and something fun. Not that Will, I mean? Will would just want to drink beers here, but Will would be fun to have on the podcast. This does is he, how does you, he work as a bartender anywhere? He or is, how many bartenders do you know? I don't know if he's self deemed the mayor of Birmingham, but a lot of people call. I mean, him that's mayor. a pretty. That's We've a, talked about him a lot. Pretty big on title. This episode. A lot a of whole. people call him the mayor of Birmingham. I call him the mayor of Birmingham. We got to get the mayor on. Yeah. Well, dude, I know my friend Nick. You know, he's bar backed and worked as a bartender Nick all over the place. Willis? Nick Willis. Yeah, 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 yeah we yeah. talked about him yeah, earlier. That's the and um, so that'd be cool to have him on and like you just like reach I out to like people. But you do, you know, him like I do. 
You don't. <laughs> what do you know? I don't know. I've known him for a long time. But I think he'd be cool to have on and, like, just reach out to any of my other friends that, like, work in pars and, like, okay. do, like, a cool little YouTube we should. thing. You I know? think we should. I'll, I'll come on with fucking uh, Will. It'd be fucking hilarious. Oh, or, or have guests, have, like, him and Will come on and you're the bartender, then they order a drink and you just have to, like, what the fuck is but that? But that's the thing, dude. We don't have the, like, back stock to, like, make Yet. all this. Yet. Because when I told you this idea, you were, like, the first thing that came in your mouth. It sounds like, expensive. expensive. Yes. yes. Expensive. It's going to take some money. Yeah. yeah. Heavyultra.com. Go check it out, please. <laughs> <laughs> please buy a shirt so that we can uh, fund this endeavor. No, I wear my shirt all the time. They're like, what the fuck is that? I'm like, oh. Oh, I'm going to hook you up. I'm going to hook you up. <laughs> no, I have, what the I have fuck I'm going to send you more. That's hilarious. But they're interested. That's good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Any, hmm. any Mixed reviews. Yeah. Hmm. Any publicity is good publicity. Yeah, that's, that's right. True. That's yeah. true. So that's my latest thing. That might be cool. I don't know. I think it'd be, I think it's awesome. I'm trying to think of other cool ideas besides I mean, the podcast. this area is so like, rad. Like, that's what I'm saying, man. We got to do more with this, this space. What else could we do? Hey, uh, no offense to your upstairs, but... This is where I'd rather be if I came to your house. No, no. You never expect this when you walk through the front door. You're like, oh, this I is know. like this is like yeah. posh and very, yeah. very clean. I'm like, what the fuck am I in, Mountain Brook right now? Right, and then you come downstairs, and it's it's this. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> They're real. We're normal. I yeah, promise. Yeah. We try to be, man. Do you have any pets? <laughs> oh, what does that mean? They have too many We're, or not enough? Too many. <laughs> Fucking hate them all. You got any rabbits? <laughs> I got two rabbits. You have rabbits? Yes. That was a shot in the dark. I fucking hate them all. Are they hairless yeah. rabbits? So, two <laughs> rabbits are my ladies. You have before, two rabbits? Before. That's so weird. Well, before I started dating her, she already had two rabbits. So, it's her two rabbits. live forever, man. Fuck you, like, win them at a carnival, yeah. and it's like you're, it's, it's that, you're bonded they're, they're, for life. The, the carnival rabbit. Okay, there's a difference. Are these carnival rabbits? Where'd you get Fuck these no, rabbits? This is a goddamn Angora rabbit. What's it's an like, Angora rabbit? It looks like goddamn Gandalf in a rabbit form. Oh, the long-haired rabbits? Yes. Oh, they have the big man. fuzzy ears? Yeah. Do they have the red eyes like hamsters? Do? No, but he's got psycho eyes. Okay, he's awesome. Thing. His name's Phil. His name's Phil. <laughs> but <laughs> Phil, Phil Rabbit. <laughs> Phil's tight. Don't get me wrong. Phil's but tight. But Fatima, his little lover. Fatima. She, she's a bitch. She never comes around. What does that mean? What is Fatima from? Alexa named her after something. I'm not like. I don't know. I'm Fatima. I'm drawing a blank. Fatima. 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 Like. Oh, okay. Do you know? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what it's from. Hold on. Let me find a picture. It'll come to me, but I'm not it won't. It. So we got two rabbits. Blue already had my golden retriever. Already had him. I was down to one dog, like one dog, one pet. And then when I worked at Electra, I was like the door guy. And for like a week, they were like, we hear cats like in the walls. So I was like, bullshit. Fuck. <laughs> because they yeah. play like crazy ass techno and all this yeah. shit. I'm like, there's no way you even fucking hear a cat. Sure enough, a week later, after hearing those sounds, they drilled a hole, found one cat. Ooh. I was like, I'll take the cat. I was like, whatever. Like, rescue cat. I've always wanted like an outside cat. Mm -hmm. A week after that goes by, and then pull out another one. They're brothers. Okay. Did they, you take both? Yeah. Oh, oh man. They just survived in the walls somehow of electric. Somehow. Or got yeah. walled so in now I have day. two cats, two rabbits, and a fucking dog, <laughs> and a girlfriend, <laughs> in a small ass house. It's fucking crazy. Two rabbits. That's crazy. Yeah, no offense you to don't my girlfriend. Anybody rabbits, are... rabbits are rad, though. But you don't see a lot of people that own rabbits. You know? Hold on. I mean? I'm about to show you. Because people crazy. aren't rad. Enough but rabbits, you can Look. like... Domesticate them and they'll just be like chill, dude. That is like that is. Ooh, dude! If I saw that run across the floor and I didn't know that's what a, it was, yeah, that's a golden retriever. That's a damn. It looks like Lola. It looks like the dog. Yeah, it's big. It's as big as this dog. He's massive, right here. if not bigger. Bigger, way bigger. bigger. Oh yeah, way bigger. Look at Lola. That's like. Oh, he'd fuck Lola. Up. <laughs> Sorry, Lola. <laughs> Oh, and he's fucking terrifying too. He'll bite you, and it fucking hurts. Mm, I bet it does, man. That's crazy. How old is the rabbit? Three. So you got like fifteen more years. Yeah. Left. <laughs> A good solid fifteen to seventeen more and years he left. He loves chewing rabbit. on the house too. Um, yeah, I know they're rabbit, no, they're notorious for like chewing up carpet and cables and cables, stuff like that. Like yeah. Wires, like yeah. if a TV cord. 
anything. Yeah, I do. I'm surprised he didn't get electric. I only yet. know that because I, I don't know how it hasn't. To be honest, like he'll chew like through fan the hot, cords and stuff. You know, he'll chew like through the hot wire. I don't yeah, know how he doesn't die. I watch a Twitch streamer. He owns a rabbit, and then so, a few times during the month, his stream will just cut out. And he's like, my rabbit chewed through the Ethernet cord yeah. or chewed through the, the computer insane. cable. Yeah, Dude. He'll chew floors, cabinets, hard, uh, fucking, uh, sorry, blanking right now, um, sheetrock. Other hard things. Sheetrock? Sheetrock. Does he jump up on the furniture and stuff too, or is he kind of mellow? So, because he was getting out of control, I kind of, I feel bad. But I cut him off to this one section where it's like, this is where you hang. Can't the rabbit the section. Yeah, yeah, the rabbit. You can fuck this area up. That's fine. <laughs> I'll repair it one day down the line. But the rest of the house, you're not fucking up. So, All right. Life of a rabbit owner. I've never, uh, I did not know that about you. That's cool. Yeah, uh, like I said, it's not my rabbits. It's my lady's rabbits. She's probably going to piss when she watches this. If she does. No, man, we'll uh, we'll cut all that out. Okay. No, we won't. It'll, it'll be in there. <laughs> yeah, sure. it might be in there. It's, it's, too, it's too much work editing a podcast. Can we get a different picture on here? I no, dude, know. we're going to keep staring at this Thrasher cover. I honestly didn't even know it was still Nose blizzle. Dude, that's so cool. Pull up something else. Is that you? Yeah. Without eyebrows? <laughs> my friend had uh, cancer. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, I feel bad. Sorry. Yeah, you asked. Yeah, way to make a joke, asshole. But I didn't know that, I'm man. Sorry. I know you don't have cancer. <laughs> you joke. You fucking with me? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, <laughs> um, Did you wax them or did you shave them? No, I just bicked them in oh, the okay. shower. Oh, ow! But he had like ow, lymph- yeah. he had like lymphoma cancer, and uh, jokingly, I was like, "All right, you piece of shit, and like you lose your hair, I'll shave my shit with you." He lost it like bad. <laughs> and then I was like, <laughs> all right, well, I guess I already committed to this. So shaved my head, showed up at his house, and he didn't have eyebrows. And he actually shaved my eyebrows the first time. I was like, all right, whatever. Like, just take them off. They never grew back the same Dude, way. I was about to say, I've never, never shaved did. my eyebrows. And I've heard that. Like, people shave them. And they're they like, don't I come back. They never come back. They used to be, like, way thicker. Like, Damn. Super thick over here. Well, and yeah, I you got to think. Your eyebrows are like, all right. You got to think, right. like, how... Look how long your eyebrows are now, and you've I've never been shaved them my whole life. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah, so like, he did that, and he was like, "You have to shave them like the whole time I'm doing it." I was like, "So I was shaving them like once every couple weeks, you know." Oh damn! Just to like raise awareness, I guess. Not no, we were just dorks, just fucking, like, just friends. Yeah. Now I was like, "I'll do it with you." But you still had facial hair though, right? Yeah, yeah. I still had a beard, <laughs> so I looked like a psychopath. Everybody thought I was like a white supremacist. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like bald dude, no eyebrows. And super pale. So that's what that picture was, though. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. <clears throat> but he made it through. He's fine. Oh, okay, yeah. sweet. His eyebrows look fine. You're still recovering. That's what I was yeah. most worried about. Yeah. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I'm just kidding. He's, he's a man. What do you want for Christmas, man? I'm making my list. Can I get uh, you something? A new ankle and two new knees. I can't do that. That's easy. Maybe I can get you some, like... Some gum or something. <laughs> Some gum. You gum them joints back together. Maybe can we all hang out down here and eat some dinner? Yeah, dude. We can yeah. have friends giving. Yeah. That'd be cool. Friends or giving. friends Christmas or whatever. Yeah. Friendsmas. Uh, friendsmas. Yeah. But yeah, instead of turkey, we're doing pizza. And chicken wings. Super down. Yeah. yeah that'd be sick. better. Be fun. Uh we tried to do a, a friends giving last year. I don't know. I know it's like a popular thing that people do. But um Is it? Last year, I don't know, with being COVID of, and everything. It's weird I've only known you guys for like nine months. Yeah. Pretty much. Something mm-hmm. like that, yeah. Something like that, yeah. But we're like best bros. Oh, so Alec uh, won, I don't know if you saw on Thrasher, he won that contest, the downhill, where they set up a bunch of crazy ass shit. I didn't do, see like, that. The big downhill bomb. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, that they always do, but... This time seen, they did. I saw like, one that was nuts. Like people were like just like flying down this hill. And it's basically just like survival. Like, yeah. hey, if you can make it to the bottom without dying, you and there's win. like a million people on the side of the road. So he called me like two weeks ago. So I'm calling back. Oh, sorry, I'll call you back. It's He's gonna fine. hear it from this podcast. <laughs> Probably. Because I've been so fucking just tired. I literally go home and go to bed, wake up and go to work. That's it. But he won this contest that's on Thrasher. It's like a huge deal, like every year. And uh I forget what the name of it is, but yeah, he won the contest and, like, fucking killed it. I was like, damn. I was like, all right. That's awesome. I man. don't remember seeing his post about it. Get a th- Someone go to thrasher.com. 
It's oh, on, it's on Thrasher. He don't have to post about it. It's on Thrasher. Yeah, it's on Thrasher. Uh, it's probably buried. Yeah, he's though. big time. We'll have to find it. Um, no, 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 I don't think it. Maybe. Yeah, you might be right. Like, they have a lot of shit that they post. and um, Like, even, like, the uh, Painkiller Zero video came out, like, yesterday. I just saw the day before. Yesterday, yeah. yeah, dude. And I went to Thrasher to, to watch it, and it was already, like, four posts down. I know. And I'm like, dude, they fucking post shit, like, constantly. And, um, it kind of sucks because it's, like, hard to get into anything. Because you're like, is it good? Well, there's just, it's so saturated. Well, look at their mean? website. Like, look at everything they just shove in your face. Yes, dude. And so it's, it's like, I try me. to keep up. It is up. too much. I try to keep up with skateboarding, but there's so much going on. I know how people do it. And everyone has a voice now. Everyone has, like, mm-hmm. it's like, how the fuck, how do you keep up with anything? This is the point. She's trying to look it up. And it's yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I, uh, yeah, I'm going to post this because it's insane. Like, there's just so much. There's so much. So there's a downhill oh, there Halloween bomb. Is, well, that's yeah, a Hall- do that. Do is that. that it? Yeah, that's it. Halloween hell bomb yeah. 2021. Yeah. So so come down in the middle. Oh, dude, did that's you see it. the create that's, and destroy? That's Alec right there. That's him? That's him? No. That's, no, not, that's him. not him. That's not him. But play it. He's in it. So play this. But uh, before that, there was the uh, little thing about Lucero. Did you see that from Black Label? What did he say? They just had like a thing where he was showing about his career. He talks about his art and stuff. It's really cool, man. Um, they just had it's basically just like an interview of Lucero. Okay. Um, no, I didn't see it. Yeah, check that out, dude. It was fucking rad. This is it's not cool. the downhill. No, it's a it's a, That's oh, a it's blind a, ad. Uh, oh, just a commercial. And so but now Alec won. Is pulling I think up. he won like he got some check. I don't know. Shit! Shout out Alec. Yeah. Dude, that looks so, crazy. This is in. I want to say Long Beach. This looks like Long Beach. Yeah. I guess I haven't seen this video. Or Huntington, one of the two. Yeah, this looks like madness. Well, Nailed. everybody's dressed. Oh, <laughs> everybody dresses up. <laughs> and then they skate. So Alec is right there. In the hippie shirt? Yeah. Yeah. I think he, well, I think he, no, that's him right there in the red. He's trying to be Cholo. I only know this because there's like that super Jesus super going. popular post of the dude who who dressed up like Joker that year, because that yeah, that yeah, video yeah, is yeah. all yeah. over the internet. Yep, that was who was it? Oh, can Cannon? I don't remember, but I see his face everywhere. So Alec is in the red button up shirt. He's trying to look. Is he like Waldo? So right now they're just like he wins this. this. He thing. does front three over this. Which is so they have like different contests like throughout the day. Kind of looks I like that guy. Yeah. Stomped the board. The whole day. Front side flip, back side. Big, Big spin. spin. That's so gnarly, Alec man. Is, yeah, that's, oh, that's him right there. Yeah. yeah. Dude. Damn. That's insane. Back three. Oh, front. dude. That was crazy. Yeah. Or, yeah, front three. Yeah. Front three. I don't know my tricks, man. No, you don't. It's all right. You, you asked me, you were like, what trick am I doing on the thrash cover? <laughs> you were like schooling me right there. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, yeah, Alec wins this whole contest, like, the whole day, I guess. Yeah, just play the whole video. This I think cool. it's from, like, the morning till Slut sun goes down. It's, it's crazy just, because... Freaking the, dirt bikes everywhere. But the video the doesn't hell, show the scale of the hill. You know what I mean? Oh, it's... Yeah. Like, it looks flat in the that's video. Not, yeah. that's, no, that's dude, Alec right so there. that's Alec right there. He just ollied off the end of that. That's, that's him crazy. right there. Who's the dude with the boombox? He's dressed up like a... Uh, Muska. Muska. Chad yeah. Muska. Muska! Dude, what's Muska up to these days? Dude, drugs. <laughs> drugs? <laughs> Lots of drugs. If I had to guess. Anybody listening to this episode, you, uh, you're losing so much. You have to watch this you on YouTube. You gotta watch it. You got to. Heavyultra.com, we have oh, videos. Yeah, we are so I'm just gonna post this whole video. Fault, and uh, yeah. Just us commentating. This that is a whole... Shit, dude, that see? shit. Let's yeah, go, dude. dude. Anyway, people eating I think shit. It, they show it right here. Somewhere. Wait, so what was the check? I don't know. Well, they start jumping over it. No. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. How do so, they get the right? Do they just block this? Yeah, there's no, cars no, driving no, through. No, they don't. They don't block it. Cops just show up when they show up. Damn. Well, so they, they just, just, they just like, kind of take over. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's Thrasher. You just do what the fuck you want. I guess I'm fucking out. I don't know how cops let like it go this far. Without like showing up. Well, it's only like there's once. So it's only once people, a year, man. right? Yeah, I mean, it's the... once a year, but still, like, fuck. So is that this the check that they're jumping over? This would never fly yeah. on 20th Street. Oh yeah, no, here in you the south, you never do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's Birmingham versus 
I don't know. I feel like Jesus. California gets it. No. No. Fuck no. That's where skate stoppers were invented. No. Jesus. He's rocking it, man. Yeah, Jesus. God. What is that? I don't know grabs. That's what was that? Was that a method? Melon. Melon? Oh, whoa, whoa. Sorry. Uh, or was that a... Fuck, what is it called? What is it when you reach behind and grab Don't look at me. Trucks? I don't fucking know. It's not an indie grab. That's on the front. Damn, on the back side, it's like a... Front side, 180. Alan used to do them all the time. Uh, he would always do... I don't think they were called melons. Damn, have I not skated that long? No, it's not. We melon. just didn't do melons, a lot of like, melons like stink bug where you bend your butt over. It. So if you reach behind you and grab in between the trucks, fuck. Method? No. Is it a method grab? Mm -mm. No? Method's like pulling like. <laughs> Damn, dude! Know? Anybody listening? Skate uh, trivia. Dude, hit us up in the comments. Yeah, man. Let us know we're fucking up. Um, I'm goofy, so if I were to launch off a ramp and grab in between no the trucks idea, behind actually. my back, and then kind of extend. There's a name for it's it. It's called a board. I grab. thought it was a method, but maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Fuck I know. I thought it had an M name. We're pretty off. All right, the, so they're jumping that, over yeah. the thing here, so we're getting towards. They're the jumping end of the over video. the check. I there's guess like a there's a kicker ramp in the middle of the street, and they're all going over the ramp while that's, cars are driving hey, that's by. That's my buddy from uh, San Antonio. Oh, he's gonna grind it. Let's go. No, he's just gonna smash into it. I think again, anybody that's just listening to this, you got a heavyultra.com. Just go. You gotta watch this. And it's like a shitty check, but, dude. This yeah. like fucking piece of cardboard. That's it. They didn't that's it. All. Yeah. All right, but Alec won. Alec that. won. won. Yeah, Alec won. So there that's him. There he there is. Right is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There he goes. Go. Oh, they got him up on his shoulders. Yeah, man, that's sick. Well, shout out to Alec. Shout out Spinosi, man. That's awesome, dude. Man, I did not watch that video. There's another downhill bomb video, but uh, it was like way gnarlier. It was like. Just like, can you get down the hill without dying? So, I'm gonna put the dog down, see what happens. Yeah, I haven't talked to him in a minute. Hit him up, man. Any chance you're gonna resurface on social media in if the I future? Do, Are you, you done know. completely? I'm done. You're yeah. done. I hear you, man. I hear yeah. you. I think, you know what the thing about social media is? It sucks. I think for, I'll compare myself, for instance, right? If I follow other professional skateboarders, they post all this shit where you're like, Man, they're living their best life. What am I doing? Work a normal job. There's nothing wrong with working a normal job. There's nothing wrong with it at all. If you're happy and if you're just doing whatever makes you happy at the moment, Instagram can ruin it because you can FOMO, look at man. someone else's yeah, you can look at someone else's life where they're posting all the best shit, right? Yeah, that's the thing you gotta remember. Instagram is only the best things that people are like. Right. They don't post I'm when gonna... they're fucking pissed that's off. Right. That's or right. else I mean, some people do, which is funny. I think it's hilarious. But you're always comparing yourself to these other people and what they're doing instead of just focusing on what you're doing in your life. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of why I got off Instagram, which yeah. is a good topic, to, I guess, to talk about. Yeah, it's no, like definitely. Too many people compare themselves to what other people are doing in their lives on the internet mm -hmm. as compared to just living your life. Yeah. And for me, I did the same thing, though. I'm guilty. Like, I post yeah, we all are, man. We I post pictures are. of me and my dog in the, like, the most exotic places. And like, people are like, oh, you live the best life. At the same time, living out of my car, you know, not making any money. So it's like, it's all just fucking bullshit. So I just got off because, are you happy with your life? There's no reason to post about it. And like, you can just be happy with it. Yeah. It's, just, it's Instagram, all perspective. Yeah. Instagram and like, Social media has changed how people view their lives because people think, oh, this girl's out at brunch on a Tuesday. Why can't I afford it? Or this dude's out in the desert doing whatever the fuck he wants on a four-wheeler. I'm like, yeah, they saved all month to go do that. But they don't tell you that. You don't see the sacrifices right. to yeah. do those things. And so I think it's just like people will get so caught up in what other people are doing on those social media platforms that it can ruin your day real quick. Yeah. Like, I work at just a normal job. I don't make a ton it's like of like I was having a good day, and then I saw so-and-so yeah. just hiked up Mount Everest, and now I'm, like, feeling like shit. Cause yeah, I'm... I mean, like, for me, like, the most money I ever made was in skateboarding, but the most happiest I've been has been lately when I've been off social media and just focusing on, like, what I want to do day to day, like, whether it be just working around the house, hanging out with my lady, hanging out with my dog, calling a friend, you know, instead of comparing, like, well, this guy's in fucking 
Mexico on a fucking like yacht or some mm-hmm. bullshit. So no, yeah. it's like, well, you should be a pro skater too. It's like, why can't I have that? It's like, well, because you're not as good. So it's, I think it's just a comparison thing with the sure. internet, and it drives me crazy because a lot of people get down on themselves because they compare themselves to other people's social media posts. I think it's just stupid, silly. Oh, well, dude, I mean, I do the same thing. I mean, even just with this podcast, I mean, like, there's other local podcasts that are killing it in Birmingham. And right. I look up to them, and, like, even when we do something cool, like, another podcast will, like, post something else cool, and I'm like, well, fuck, you know? And I get down on myself, like, well, we're not cool enough, or we're not doing – we need to get better guests, or we need to do we are more better. cameras, or we need to do – We are the best, Alex. You know, I mean, like – but I get it, you know? Like, you're always comparing yourself to, like, someone else. And, and like, I was can't. doing the same, so I'm guilty. So yeah. that's well, why every, I got off. Everybody is, because there's, like – I'm not like a political person or whatever, but there's like legislation in in place now of like teens of like legislation is going after like Instagram and Facebook of like, hey, you're like portraying this stuff that like teens like depression after like the whole pandemic depression is like an all time high. It's like oh, there's like got to be some type sui- of like uh, overdoses were the highest they've ever been in American history this year. Yeah, damn. So everybody, it's not just us, you know. Yeah, but I am thankful that I grew up. Without having social media, be like the biggest exactly. part of my life. Yeah, you know and that's I mean? where I kind of wanted to get back to. I was like, we didn't need this, and there's no need for it. Yeah. And I'm happy working. Like I, I work like compared to people that are living their Instagram stories. I guess I live like a loser ass life, but I'm happy. Like it's a cool. I work life. my job, pays my bills. You know, I get by. That's all I need. I don't need to like compare myself to anybody. So it's kind of part of the reason I got off of it because. Everybody does it. Everyone's like, man, look, do you see what he's doing? I'm like, do you see what they're doing? See what? They're yeah, doing? man. I'm just it's like, like I could post a picture from is, Hawaii yeah. tomorrow, but then so-and-so is at, you know, yeah. some other cool We place. all need to. So Nokia, Nokia just came out. They're doing like their anniversary thing. They're re-releasing the brick phone. Really? They're gonna re-release the wow. brick. I've been thinking about it. It's only like forty-five bucks. Like it's so Is cheap. It's still gonna have the same like software and everything. It still comes with Snake. Snake it still has Snake. <laughs> Snake. We're gonna yeah. play Snake. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm just like a phone call kind of guy. Like if I haven't caught up with you in a while and I miss your text, I'll I call will you. say what's really rad about you and uh, I'll call you our and friendship is in its in its uh, infancy. But I feel like I've gotten to know you over the past nine months pretty well. Anytime I text you. Instead of responding to my text, you will call me. Yeah. And James like, is a phone call and person. And I'm like, that yeah. is fucking so cool. And like, people like. Because you can read things the wrong way. Just dude, like you do yes, on dude. Media. And, and people this is are another like, reason I got off of it because my sense of humor is so yep. dark. And I appreciate it so much because so many people get turned <laughs> off. Like, dude, I text him and he tried to call me back and I ignored his call and I text him again. And it's like, dude, just there's so many things. Oh, God. People are go so on. anxious and scared to talk on the phone <clears throat> like, these just days. Just fucking talk, like, on the phone. Just talk on the phone. That's me. I'd rather call because you than you text can, you. You can day. send someone's vibe off their voice. Yeah. Immediately. You could read a text message. A Interpret m- it 20 different ways. A million different ways. Yeah. yeah. So I'm a phone call. I don't respond to text, but if like I'm going to get back to you, I will call you because if I text you back like, hey, I'm busy, it sounds like, hey, fuck off. Right. Like, fuck you, dude. Yeah. yeah. It's like, so... I just, that's the reason I got, kind of got off social media because things can be misportrayed. And like I said, my sense of humor is super dark. And so if it sounds dark, then you think it's dark. It's not. It's just it's just being a joke. So I enjoyed it. Fuck all the people who are reporting <laughs> and all that shit. They yeah, don't, yeah. They don't well, get it. Well, it's not even that. It's just like, I guess I'm misrepresenting myself because I'm not like a dark individual. I'm just, I'm a dork, you know? So yeah, we all I'd rather are. have a, conversation and call you than yeah. just text like my buddy that used to film for real right before i got here he had been trying to call me for a couple of days i just or text me and all this stuff and i just called him i was like I hadn't talked to him in probably five six years I just called him i was like hey what's going on what are you doing <clears throat> he just happened to be in alabama caught up five minutes like all right let's keep this going like whatever you know we're not strangers instead of just like hey man i'm good right yeah that means to some people if you read it a certain way. That's yeah, all right. I'll text you again <clears throat> in like two years. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So. <clears throat> Rando. I think social media is a big problem with society. I yeah. kind of hate it. I mean, I love it. Don't get me wrong. I wish I mean, it has benefits, it. but it's also it, like. It does. It, it's like a. Fucks it's, us all it's up. It's definitely a love-hate <clears throat> relationship because definitely like. 
Like for the, something as simple as this, like just we want to promote episodes that we we're doing. Promote our like, dumb little internet saying, podcast. That's yeah. what it should be transitioned towards instead of people having people identify themselves. It's like political kind of sense. Like people identify themselves as what they're viewed as on, right. so, on social media. Yes, yes. and then that and gets been, in your I, brain. I've yeah. been guilty of that too. Like when I had Bama Hardy, which was my first Instagram, mm-hmm. it's like everything was about Vader. So it's like, oh, I got to take a picture of Vader today. And then you get lost in like just like living life. It's yeah. so stupid. So yeah, Ben never had Instagram. That's why Ben's just. That's there. why Ben is the fucking man. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Ben Gilly. Yeah. Gilly. That, that, that's why he's the man. Yeah. He's just always been himself. So. Well, you're the fucking man too, man. And uh, yeah. I appreciate you coming to I'm hang out grow- with I'm, our. I'm growing up. <laughs> well, uh, growing thanks. up and not growing up. Growing up, yeah. Well, brother, thank you for taking the time Definitely. to come and talk with us and, oh and shoot the shit. And then uh, we'll have you back on soon. You know, another like a staple. Another, another nine months. You like here, like when the show kind of tar- started to take off. You know, like Let's I was like, holy shit, James Hardy's coming on. It's so cool. Let's do pizza out. and beers next time, and then we'll talk a bunch of shit on social media, and then people think we're crazy. That's Done. fine. I'm down. Right, and we'll do it on it. the we'll do it on the Rad Drinks podcast. Fuck oh yeah, not Second podcast, show. but show. Yeah. We'll yeah. do it around the bar. She's so mad right now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, Katie's our biggest supporter. Okay. She's she rules. Katie. Um, James, Hardy, right. the man. You rule. One, two, Love you, brother. With our powers combined, we will end this podcast.